Hey everybody, it's Blood here, and today I am doing a video a bit out of my wheelhouse. But if you all enjoy and like on this, I will definitely do more of these in the future. And stick around towards the end of the video, just so you can get all the information that's about to get spit out. Now, today I am doing a quick gameplay and guide video for Naraka Blade Point. And Naraka is a full-on PvP Battle Royale game. And it has some mechanics that I can truly appreciate that sets it apart from the rest that I've played. And I'll be going over those in more detail. So starting off, when you load up the game and you instantly hop into a match, you'll be picking your character and your drop point. Now each individual character has their own strengths, weaknesses, special abilities, so it's really up to your playstyle on who you pick. And I highly suggest you give each one a try to find your niche. Because between your character and the different weapons and soul jades that you can get, the combinations are crazy. And after you pick your character, get set up to drop in, then you pick your drop point. And on the map, when you're picking your drop point, you will see places that are highlighted in gold. Some really big, some really small. Those places are the places that have the best loot chances that you can get in this game. Which ends up leading me to my second point. So, number two is weapon and cash tiers. Now, respectfully, weapons and armor and your soul jades will go in order from common to legendary. So, you always want to find the best to be able to survive. Everybody wants that legendary. How do you find it? Simple enough, the main cash color you will find are the blue caches around the map which they will yield everything that you would need to get a hold of, but it's a higher chance at low gear. While gold caches, which spawn a lot more frequently in those gold areas, will offer a greater chance at epic and legendary gear, which is great being able to get a legendary armor so you don't have to worry much about losing that right off the bat. And they also include Soul Jays, which are boosters for your abilities, skills, defense, and offense. And the best chance to power up those is the Green Caches, which primarily give out items related to Soul Jays. Now, I enjoy running a Spear and Cannon combination as my main setup with a heavy focus on attack power. But you could try any combination to be able to hit that victory. Now bringing us into number three, the victory, the real deal, PvP. When you first load up, the game's going to put you through a tutorial about the basics. It is highly in-depth as well. So I highly, highly suggest that you pay attention to that tutorial because it teaches you when to dodge and counter and going into PvP with others it's a huge strategy game because what puts Naraka apart from most of the battle royales I've played is it is a melee centered combat system. It has a high range of weaponry that you can use including ranged weapons like the cannon or a bow but it's mainly melee centered so sometimes the combat will end up being a full free-for-all with 10 to 20 people in a pile they're slashing they're hacking they're popping off their skills trying to become the very best like no one ever was <laughs> so you really need to figure out your strategy as you're going through that now there are also grappling hooks in the game involved for mobility and one of the things i found is that when you find your moment use a grappling hook get out of combat and quickly use berries to heal your HP, use powders to raise your armor, use weapon repair kits to repair your weapon so you can actually deal the damage you need to to be able to get back in there and decimate out your foes. Now, for the items that you can get, of course you can find them around the map, but you could also focus on shops for your items. Now, shops and contracts, there are shops done all around the map that will sell support items, weapons, armors. Plus, some shops will have special weapons that you can only acquire through the shops. 
And once one person has bought it, that shop sells out of it. Done so. That's it. So if you and your team are going to go shopping together, plan who can use what. Again, there's only going to be one in that shop. Now, how do you buy all these items? You get Dark Tide coins. And the Dark Tide coins, how do you get them? There's several outlets that you can get them from. Mainly, you can get it from the caches you open for your equipment, and there are contracts dotted around the map as well. There are red contracts for bounties, there are blue contracts for more survival type items, and then there's the gold contracts, which kind of want you to do something odd off, like, oh, I don't know, going somewhere random to smack a bell a few times, but it gives you a good chunk of change. So if you want to try your hand at contracting, do that. It could help you out in the end. The other way is more the fun way, is that after you have defeated people, and if you're able to take a moment to loot them, you can loot all the coins that they've picked up. So you can definitely uh, raise your piggy bank by smacking people down. And that in itself is a bit of a breakdown on what to expect getting into a game of Naraka Blade Point. Now, being a battle royale, of course, you're going PvP and you're trying to stay in the center of the map as much as possible because you do have the shadow closing in on you. But the shadow, it does take a fair amount of time to be able to move out, so it definitely gives you time to be able to loot properly and plan yourself out before you get anything crazy. And once you get down to the end, you know, it's you versus however many else is there. So definitely make sure you have the proper buildup. And there are so many strategies that you can use while you're going into it. Uh, Naraka also does have a campaign mode outside the general PvP Battle Royale. And there are other mechanics for the game as well, including the extensive character customization, which I would love to be able to go into in more detail. So if you all enjoyed this video, I will definitely make another video going into detail about that. So overall, Naraka is a fairly good game. And I honestly can't wait to see what else is in store for its future. I'll even go ahead and leave a link in the cage to the game for Steam, because it is free to play. And y'all can try it out yourselves, and let me know what you think. Maybe at some point we'll end up seeing each other on the field of battle. So until then, I thank you all for watching, and I hope you take care. Bye!